Once upon a time in a faraway magical kingdom, there lived a young wizard named Finn who dreamed of going on exciting adventures. Finn lived in a small cottage on the outskirts of a bustling village. Every day, he would wander into the village and gaze in wonder at the busy townspeople hurrying about their daily business. How he wished he could join them on their adventures. One morning, Finn awoke to a loud commotion coming from the village square. He quickly got dressed and rushed outside, wand in hand. To his surprise, hundreds of villagers were gathered in the square, murmuring excitedly. A royal announcement was being made, the evil sorcerer Maldark had kidnapped the beloved Princess Sophia and disappeared into the misty forest. The king and queen were offering a grand reward to any brave hero who could journey into the forest, defeat Maldark, and rescue the princess. Finn's heart leaped, this was the adventure he had been waiting for. Without hesitation, he joined the crowds of would-be heroes volunteering to take on the quest. Along with a motley crew of knights, wizards, and adventurers, Finn set off on the road to the misty forest. After many days of difficult travel over rough terrain and perilous mountain passes, the brave company of heroes arrived at the entrance to the misty forest. A musty fog hung low over the shadowy trees, and strange noises echoed through the woods. Most of the heroes turned back in fear, but Finn resolutely marched forward into the mist, determined to complete his quest. Deeper and deeper into the forest he went, facing obstacles and challenges at every turn. He navigated mazes of tangled thorns, crossed rapid rivers on rickety rope bridges, and battled strange creatures that lunged at him from the shadows. Still, he pressed on. Just as Finn was about to give up hope, he stumbled into a sun-dappled glade. In the center stood a tall, twisted tower covered in vines. This had to be where the evil Maldark was holding Princess Sophia. Finn crept up to the tower and slowly pushed the old wooden door open. Inside, he climbed up an ancient stone spiral staircase to a room at the very top. And there, tied to a chair, was the princess. You came to rescue me, cried Princess Sophia joyfully. Please, noble wizard, you must defeat the evil Maldark so we can escape this dreadful tower. Just then, a booming voice rang out from the shadows, it was Maldark. The wicked sorcerer bellowed in rage at the sight of Finn and raised his twisted black wand. A fierce battle between Finn's magic and Maldark's dark powers erupted, shaking the tower walls. Finn was strong, but Maldark had evil on his side. Just as the sorcerer was about to get the upper hand, a brilliant flash of rainbow-colored light suddenly burst into the room. A magnificent unicorn galloped in, its pearly horn glowing. Quick, climb on, it said to Finn in a musical voice. The unicorn's powerful magic turned the tide of the duel, allowing Finn to defeat the sorcerer once and for all. As Maldark howled in agony and collapsed to the floor, Finn untied Princess Sophia. Together, they raced down the twisting stairs and out of the crumbling tower behind the gallant unicorn. The magical creature carried them swiftly through the misty forest and back to the kingdom, where the king and queen awaited. There was much rejoicing and celebration when the people learned that Finn and the unicorn had rescued Princess Sophia. A grand parade was held in their honor. From that day on, Finn the wizard and his unicorn friend were heroes of the realm, and went on to have many more exciting adventures together. And they all lived happily ever after. Once upon a time in a faraway magical kingdom, there lived a brave young knight named Sir Gallant. Sir Gallant was kind and courageous, always ready to help those in need. He had trained for years to become a master swordsman in order to protect the kingdom from harm. One sunny morning, as Sir Gallant was polishing his sword, an urgent knock came at his door. It was a frail old man, sent by the king with an important message. A great darkness has come upon our land, warned the old man. An evil dragon called Maldraker has awakened and means to cover the kingdom in his shadow. Sir Gallant wasted no time. He gathered his enchanted shield and armor and set off at once on his noble steed. After days of riding, Sir Gallant arrived at the abandoned tower where the wretched dragon lay sleeping. As Sir Gallant tiptoed quietly up the stone steps, he heard a thunderous rumble that shook the tower walls. Who dares disturb my slumber, 
boomed the dragon as it stirred awake. I am Sir Gallant, brave knight of the realm, he responded without fear. I have come to vanquish you, vile creature. The vain dragon cackled, spewing flames into the sky. You think your feeble sword and shiny armor are match for me, Maldraker the Terrible? I will incinerate you with one breath. But Sir Gallant was not deterred. As Maldraker reared back his massive head, Sir Gallant leapt forth with his enchanted shield raised. The shield absorbed the flames and Sir Gallant thrust his gleaming sword at the dragon's breast. Maldraker shrieked in pain, thrashing his spiked tail wildly. Sir Gallant ducked behind a pillar just in time. He had wounded the fiend, but not defeated him yet. Enraged, the vile dragon beat his ragged wings, demolishing half the tower walls. Rubble rained down as Sir Gallant scrambled for cover. Thinking quickly, he spotted a chain dangling nearby and hatched an idea. You'll have to do better than that, worm, taunted Sir Gallant as he began climbing the chain. The haughty dragon turned and unleashed another jet of flames. But Sir Gallant was too fast. As the dragon reared its head back once more, Sir Gallant swung on the chain and landed squarely on the beast's neck. Maldraker thrashed violently trying to shake off the valiant knight. But Sir Gallant held on tight to his spiked scales. Gripping his sword firmly in both hands, Sir Gallant plunged it deep into the dragon's neck. Maldraker let out a ghastly scream as dark blood gushed forth like a fountain. The vile dragon's movements slowed until finally, it collapsed dead at Sir Gallant's feet. V Victorious, Sir Gallant raised his gore-covered sword to the sky. The evil beast had been slain. Word of Sir Gallant's heroic deed soon spread across the land, and a great feast was held in his honor. Peace had finally been restored to the kingdom thanks to his courage and skill. Songs were sung for centuries recounting the vanquishing of the depraved Maldraker at the hands of the gallant Sir Gallant.